Hey Team Scuff, welcome to the step-by-step -step video guide on how to install our new firmware update on your Scuff Vantage. Before we begin, let's take a moment to go over each of the important steps that will be detailed in this guide. These are the materials required for installation, how to prepare your Scuff Vantage, how to download the updater, how to install the firmware, and the thumbstick calibration process. Let's get started. Here are all the materials you will need to gather before installing the new firmware to your Vantage. Your Scuf Vantage controller, the micro USB cable provided with your Scuf Vantage or another compatible micro USB cable, and an internet connected Windows 10 PC or laptop. Once you are ready with all three items, we can move on to the first step, preparing your Scuf Vantage for the firmware update. Here are the four checkpoints you need to consider before updating the firmware on your Vantage. The thumbsticks, mode selections, hair triggers, and cable. First, use your fingers to push down on your controller's anti-friction rigs and thumbsticks to ensure that they are both seated correctly. Your thumbstick should also be installed in the correct orientation with the pointer in the scuff logo directed towards the bottom left. Next, check the mode selections on the bottom of your Vantage and switch them to the left. This will enable play mode with this right switch and wired USB mode on wireless wired models that also have this left switch. If you have previously adjusted your hair triggers underneath your trigger covers, use your scuff key to return them to their original setting. You will feel the mechanism flush along the surface of the naked trigger surface when you've done this correctly. Lastly, take the micro USB end of your cable and securely attach it to the connection port located near the top of your controller. Please keep in mind that this flat side should be facing down when connecting. Now with your cable attached to the controller, take the USB-A end of your cable and connect it to any available port on your computer that directs to its motherboard. Your computer should recognize the device, a scuff controller. At this point, you can set your controller aside. You won't need to touch it again until it is time to calibrate your thumbsticks at the end of this process. Now you're ready to download the Scuff Vantage Firmware Updater. To download the Scuff Vantage Firmware Updater, open an internet browser on your Windows 10 computer preferably Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, and enter the following URL into the address bar to be directed to the official Scuff Vantage firmware updates page, scuff.co slash Vantage Update. Once loaded, scroll down to locate the yellow Download Now button. We recommend using right-click to save link as to download the file somewhere you can easily find it, like your computer's desktop. If you are using Microsoft Edge as your web browser, you must save it to your desktop. Now you're ready to begin the update process. Confirm the location of the Scuff Vantage firmware updater on your computer and run the application. If you have Windows Defender Smart Screen enabled, you will likely encounter this screen. To proceed, click on More Info and then Run Anyway. Now when navigating through each step of this program, please read and follow all text prompts carefully. In all, the process should take five to 10 minutes to complete. Let's start. On this welcome screen, click Begin. And once you've closed all other applications, click Continue. Take a moment to reconfirm you've done the following steps to prepare your Vantage before pressing Continue on this screen. Please be patient while the program detects your Vantage. During this process, your Vantage may make some noises or flash lights. This is normal. If you see this screen, this means your Vantage is not yet updated to the latest firmware. To begin the firmware update process, please click the Update button. During progress of firmware installation and verification, please be patient as the process may take a few minutes. After a successful update, you will see this screen to begin the final step of the process, recalibrating your thumbsticks. During this part of the process, it is important that your participation in the manual calibration of the thumbsticks is handled correctly. Before you press start on this screen, practice rotating both thumbsticks clockwise, simultaneously, continuously, and against the anti-friction rings like this for a few moments. Press start when ready. The calibration process will begin by detecting centered thumbsticks. Do not touch your thumbsticks at this time. When prompted to rotate your thumbsticks, do so until you are told to stop. Then. Do not touch the thumbsticks again while the program detects the center of your thumbsticks once more. Repeat these steps once more to complete calibration. 
Press continue when ready. Do not touch the thumbsticks here. Rotate the thumbsticks until prompted to stop. Do not touch the thumbsticks again. And that's it. If you followed these directions carefully, your Scuff Vantage should now be successfully updated with the most recent firmware update and ready to play on PlayStation 4. If for any reason you happen to experience any further issues with thumbstick responsiveness after updating your firmware, try the recalibration process again. Additionally, for wireless wired Vantage owners, if you find yourself having difficulty repairing your controller to PS4 via Bluetooth, we recommend you follow these steps. Restart your console, toggle the wired wireless switch to wired USB mode, and then back to wireless Bluetooth mode, and then reattempt to repair your Vantage to PS4. For any other questions about your Scuff Vantage, please contact Scuff customer support via our website or at Scuff Assist on Twitter. Thanks for watching.